Hello and welcome back for our final day this week of reflecting upon um, our gospel in preparation for this Sunday's Mass, seeking just to allow the Lectio Divina to really open up our hearts to the many graces God wants to pour into our, into our lives through a deeper encounter, through better discipleship, and today through our grateful response of stewardship. So let us begin to um, invite the Holy Spirit in by uh, offering up this short prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, overshadow us in this time of prayer, in this time of Lexio Divina. Open up our hearts to the many graces that God wants to pour into us so that filled with your presence, the Father and the Son and yourself, Holy Spirit, we may encounter you, follow you, and as stewards, make a great res grateful response in love of you and of our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. And so, just allowing these words to touch our hearts, as the Lord continues to evangelize us and invite us to an intimate following of him in our discipleship. Let us see how the Lord and our hearts then, in response to the Lord, want to make a grateful response. So the diocese provides these following questions in helping us to discern a grateful response to Christ. Have you ever noticed resistance to being obedient to Christ? This question is important because to make a grateful response is to have that obedience and never to be resistant to it just to simply in openness to allow the Lord to continue to work in our hearts, just to obey his promptings. And to identify then those resistances that prevent us from making a grateful response. So to, just to maybe that's the question Maybe that's where the Holy Spirit is directing you so as to help you to grow in your stewardship by identifying those little areas of resistance. Matthew Kelly once said that the hardest war to win is one you don't even realize you're, you are fighting. And the hardest enemy to, to defeat is the one you don't even know exists. Every day, 
you are at war with resistance. So this quote by Matthew Kelly. Do you think simply noticing resistance to following God's will could help you grow in obedience? St. Ignatius of Loyola would, in a way, call this an awareness. You know, before we can move forward, we, ha we have to be aware of what is happening to us or what is um, the cause of that resistance in this case. Because without an awareness, I don't understand it, nor can I do anything to correct it. It's sort of like being sick. You know, I have to be aware of my symptoms when I go to the doctor to tell him or her who or what it is in me that's wrong. I have to be aware of it. Just going to the doctor and saying, I'm sick, does not bring about a cure. But it's the awareness of knowing my head aches. My body has chills. My stomach hurts. It's difficult to breathe. All of those things then allows the doctor to begin to work upon us. And this is the same thing then in the spiritual life. If I am aware of these resistances, if I know what it is, then I can bring it to Jesus and say, Lord, I have come, I've come to notice this. I give it to you. And so to be able to see that and the importance of noticing, being aware. How do you feel God calling you to respond to him, to, to love him more deeply by following his commandments more closely? And so what is that invitation like? What is your heart experience? As Jesus desires you to draw closer, to love you more and more. How does your heart want to respond to that? As Jesus just says, I want to love you. I want to be in you completely. As you are in me completely. Just to think and just almost to imagine to close our eyes and to see Jesus and just him saying to us all I want is you and to love you and to end there then when we are able to see Jesus that way and knowing that his love can come to its fulfillment in us by us keeping his commandments. Then we begin to notice, to be aware, that is all the heart wants. I want to keep his commandments because the heart desires to be loved more and more by Jesus, to have that space, that room for him, and no sin to clutter what should be only the presence of our Savior. So those are just a few of those reflections that we can use in this time of Lexio Divina, of reflecting upon this gospel, so that come this Sunday, we may be able, when it is proclaimed at Mass, once again experience in a new way the Lord Jesus encountering our hearts, evangelizing us, and inviting us to follow him more intimately from that invitation. Allow your heart to make the grateful response of love of God and of neighbor. Thank you for joining me this week. I look forward to, again, walking with you in the upcoming gospel of the following week as well. God bless you.